All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you the magic of the low G. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you five. That's right, one, two, three, four, five examples of why the low G is so magical. Welcome to You Like the Pros. I'm Terry Carter, and we're gonna talk about low G today. Now, I've done other videos on low G. I don't know, just felt inspired to do another one. Maybe it's the blue shirt. I don't know, maybe it's my Koaloha black label. But we're gonna talk about low G, but unwound in this video right here. So if you're a low G fan, leave that comment below. If you haven't even tried low G, maybe this video will convince you to not just switch low G on your ukulele, but just get a new ukulele with low G. High G ukulele, cool. And then have another one with low G. So anyway, I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click that link below to sign up because we give away a free ukulele every single month right here. And that's all you got to do. Subscribe and sign up with the link below and you're automatically entered to win. All right. Yeah. Shall we get into it? I'm going to give you five examples, five, of why... The low G is so magical. Okay, we're gonna talk about the, the unwound, like I said. In this particular video, yeah, and if you need anything, you need a low G, by the way, or any kind of string, or an ukulele, or cases, or whatever, you check out the number one store, our number one store, which is store.ukulelepros.com. All right, you ready? Let's dive into this. All right. This little plane, but I'll get to it. All right, so first reason. Why is the low G so cool? By the way, you cannot just take a high G and make it low G. There's no, it's not a tuning thing. The string itself is actually thicker. It's a thicker string. It's a different string. So if you have high G, the only way to get low G is to actually put on a low G. Some great low G strings that are out there, just in case you want to know. By the way, this is my fluorocarbon. And these, these come with this instrument, my Koloha. So it's a Koloha special blend, all right? But anyway, some great strings that are out there. Worth makes some great unwound strings. PhD makes some great unwound strings as well. Oasis makes some great unwound strings, okay? Of course, there's low, low G, wound low G strings that are great as well, but we're gonna stick with the low unwound, meaning this is just a basically a fluorocarbon string here, but it's just a little thicker than thinner, a little thicker, a little thicker, and a little thicker. All right, first reason, and then this is probably the biggest one, is the extra range you get, right? So even if you do it, by having that low G, you get that extra low range. Right there, just right there, it's worth to have a low G. All right, the second reason, and by the way, everything I'm doing here, I show to all my members. So check out ukulelepros.com. Check out the Platinum membership. That gives you access to everything, all these links. I'll show it to you. <laughs> Anything I know, I'm going to show you. All right, any Johnny Cash fans out there? All right, so the second reason you need low G, check this out. there. You cannot get this bass movement on a high G. Not possible. <laughs> All right, here we go. The third reason, you're going to like this one. The third reason why you need low G is for your finger style, your finger picking. Woo. Hear that bass? You can play that on high G, doesn't have the effect, the bass, the power that it does with low G. What do you think so far? Leave a comment below. We got a couple more left here. We got a couple more left. So hopefully, you're like, you know what? 
it carries on to this low G thing. <laughs> if I don't have one, I'm going to get one and I can get everything at store at you like All right. The next reason, check this out. You're going to like this one. All right. I'm going to take that right there. <laughs> That's a hard song, but you can't do cool riff based songs like that one by. Hmm, who could that be by? Leave that in the comments below. But you can't do that. Trust me, you cannot play that on a high G. All right, you ready? The fifth reason of the magic of OG is this. All right, the power chords. You cannot get the power <laughs> of these chords with the high D. Just doesn't work. You need that. You need that bass rumble to do that. Matter of fact, throw a little distortion on that, and you got a really cool sound. All right, so those are my, the Terry Carter, the Ukulele Pro's five things of why the low G, and then again, this is the unwound low G, is so magical. Which one was your favorite? Remember, number one was the extended range. like when you're doing scales, when you're sewing. Number two was uh, the Johnny Cash style bass drum method. Number three was the finger style. Number four was the, the wrist that you can do. And then number five was uh, the power chord. So, all right, I appreciate you being here. Make sure to check out all of the stuff that we do. We got a Patreon page, our Instagram, or TikTok, or Facebook, or YouTube, store.youcollectthepros.com, youcollectthepros.com. We even got a guitar channel over at rocklikethepros.com. So we got you covered. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for all the comments, subscribing, leaving this a thumbs up as well. So, all right, hope you uh, learned something, had a little fun in the process as well. Low G, magical. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later.